I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. It's December, and so this is the time of year where lots of people are wrapping presents and putting new furniture together and all sorts, you know, all sorts of things, which means that you tend to want to sit on the floor because it's just easier to, you know, put all the wrapping paper and everything around you and try to put things together. But for a lot of people, sitting on the floor can be painful for your back or your hip or your knees. And that is what prompted this video because I feel like people might need a little bit of encouragement that it is possible to sit on the floor without pain. So Patricia is my wonderful example of this. So Patricia is 42 years old and she called me roughly a month ago. She called because she was having some severe pain and she couldn't tell me if she thought it was her hip or her back because it, it, it was kind of melded all together and some pain was shooting down when she walked and so she just couldn't tell if it was a hip problem or a back problem. But what she did know is that it was very painful and very scary because it came on very suddenly as, as, as she saw it. And so, what happened with Patricia is that she was, she ordered something from Ikea. So of course, you know, that means hours of sitting on the floor trying to screw every little nut and bolt together. And so she had been sitting on the floor for about five minutes when she realized that her leg was kind of going numb and, and it just didn't feel good. And so she stood up, but when she stood up, she couldn't put weight on her left leg. And obviously that's a little scary. So she was able to walk it off and eventually, you know, the numbness went away and, and she was able to put weight on it, but it was still very, very uncomfortable. And so she waited a little bit, she put some ice on it, she tried to do a little bit of stretching, but it just wasn't going away. So she ended up calling because she, she was like freaked out. It's, you know, November, December, these are all like, you have parties you have to go to, you have family coming in, you have all of these other requirements. She has a son in high school, so there's all sorts of things going on with taking, taking people places and trying to navigate different events. And she, she was like, I don't have any time to be broken on top of that. And so she's just very, very upset and very worried about why just sitting on the floor or something so simple would cause this much pain. And so I, so, so when she called me, um, she found me on Google through, you know, like the nearest PT clinic on, you know, Google Maps and she calls and she's like, I need help. <laughs> so I was trying to talk, you know, talk to her for a little bit and then um, we decided that it would be a good idea for her to come in and we got to talk a little bit more. And so I was asking her about like past problems with her back and she's like, hmm, well now that you mention it, occasionally I wake up with, uh, you know, my back will be stiff, but that's just normal, right? I mean, I'm in my 40s, your back's just stiff. And I was like, so how about like walking? And she's like, oh, I can, I can walk for a really long time. She's like, I can walk for a good 30 minutes before anything starts to hurt. But you know, then after about 30 or 40 minutes, I have to take a break because my hip starts to ache. I'm like, how long has that been going on? Oh, that's been going on for a long time. I just thought that was normal. Again, I mean, I'm 40, things start breaking down. I'm, you know, just thought that was normal. And so, started talking about other, you know, other things. And she's like, well, I tried to get into working out, but you know, again, my hips started bothering me. I figured I was doing something wrong and I just sort of gave up on that. Um, I was like, well, there's a lot going on here. Huh? It's not just sitting on the floor. But if all these other pains were something that you could ignore, what's going on with, why does it bother you can't sit on the floor? I mean, you could always set these things up on a table or do, you know, do something different. You don't have to get onto the floor. And she's like, oh, well, I noticed that when my parents, or my, specifically my mom, couldn't get back up from the floor, then she, it, it, it was like, that was like the beginning of the end. She's like, I, she started saying, I can't get up from the floor, so I, I'm not gonna do that. Um, she stopped picking things up off the floor. She would have us help her with that. And then eventually it got to be where she just, was afraid to walk because she was afraid she was going to fall on the floor. So I guess I just associate the floor with something, um, yeah, a little bit more freedom and like independence and staying healthy. If you can get up and down from the floor, it, it, it means that you're still really mobile and that you're still able to get up and move around. She's like, but I'd never really thought about that. Um, so that's kind of interesting. She's like, so I guess that's what triggered all the anxiety that I was feeling 
um, by not being able to sit on the floor because that's such a basic thing and I, and I don't want to be afraid like my mom was. I was like, well, that's very interesting. But you're right. A lot of people do, as they get older, have a lot of problems sitting on the floor, getting up from the floor. Um, they have, it's, and it really could be anything from your low back, your hip, or your knee. And I was like, but the good news is all of those things are fixable. So there's nothing that you've described. You shouldn't have an achy back in the morning. You shouldn't have pain when you're walking. And you certainly, and <laughs> in your 40s and you know, well later than that, you should be able to sit on the floor and get back up without having a problem. And you know, so, so we're, gonna, we're gonna look and see what's going on and we're gonna come up with a plan for you. And that is in fact what we did. We looked at what was happening at our hips, we looked at our posture, we looked at our flexibility, um, we looked at our overall strength. I asked a little bit more details about her overall activities. And we came up with a plan on how to get her back um, to being able to sit on the floor, being able to wake up in the morning without back pain, to being able to do all the things that she'd sort of just sort of brushed off as being, eh, I'm just old, I'm in my 40s, things are gonna ache and hurt. Um, and so now Patricia is able to go for walks in the park and not have to worry about it. She, she told me she went on a nice two mile walk the other day, because of course it's been beautiful weather here. Um, and she isn't nervous about uh, doing all the Christmas wrapping that's going to be happening soon because she's, she, feels a little, she feels a lot more stable and a lot more flexible than she did just even a few weeks ago. And so she is not 100%. She's not back to exactly where she wants to be, but she is very close and she's doing a lot better and she's very excited. So I just thought I would share that, especially now um, since it is the season to be sitting on the floor and trying to wrap presents. So if you are also dealing with pain in your back or your hip when you're, you know, or your knee, when you're trying to sit on the floor, there is 100% hope for you. But I can understand why you would be a little apprehensive because it's a little bit weird. We do get really used to the idea that we're gonna be in pain or have some like weird aches and pains. Maybe, you know, maybe it's not a full blown like, I'm freaked out um, pain, but some like aches and things just don't feel great and they take a little bit to warm up. We, you know, we sort of associate that, we assume that we're gonna have that even starting as early as 40. But there are ways to, to combat that so that you're not, um, you're not suffering with those things every day. Um, but like I said, I know that there can be some uh, skepticism with that. And so if you'd like just to talk to me just to see if your specific situation um, is something that I can help with, um, feel free. I will leave a link so that you can set up a phone consultation and we can spend 20 minutes talking and just seeing if um, there really is a problem or if there's something that can be fixed. Um, and if this is something that you think that somebody would benefit from hearing, then please, please pass this um, video on. And I hope that everybody's having a wonderful Christmas season.